Fredericksburg is a town here on the Eastern Shore here in Maryland. This uh, cluster was uh, identified as, as one of uh, s several clusters in the Mid-Atlantic region that didn't have any Baha'i educational activities happening. It was the middle of the pandemic and so there wasn't much activity happening in my own clusters. So I, I came and met the friends here and what, what attracted me was just their genuine enthusiasm and a commitment to sustain this endeavor and overcome any obstacle that were put in their path. So we just come out every weekend and just learn, just talk to people, have conversations, invite youth in particular to come join us in this effort to help start educational activities for children and youth. My children was talking about it. I didn't uh, know what they was talking about. Then I was down to my niece's house where her, all her children was at. And that's where I met Kenny. I had a lot of questions. Is this gonna work? Is it gonna be worth it? Are my kids gonna learn anything? Is it gonna be like the last youth group that they were in or the one that I was in when I was a child? That taught me nothing but snacks and some games, you know, for an hour out of the day. I just sat out there and listened and everything. And the children participated in all that stuff. I said, I'm oh, amazing, my children are listening. And then after that, each one of them said a prayer. I did my prayer, they did their prayer, and the children participate and did their prayer. I said, thank you, Jesus, because they was happy. They were smiling and everything. I said, this is a good thing for them. I let them go, <laughs> and they loved it. it. It actually ended up pretty well. It took a while, yeah, but they didn't hesitate to try to make me comfortable. You know, they did everything they could to reach out and help me understand. and. They made it easy for me to trust them. The primary objective of learning that we're attempting to take here in our activities is to learn how to raise up the capacity of youth to become coordinators of children's classes, to become coordinators of junior youth groups, to, to be uh, the primary protagonists and building their community. I was actually scared that the kids will not like do what they said. I didn't know what to expect because I don't work with children. My very, very first class was actually in my house with my siblings and then my siblings' friend. The first lesson was about love. And then the kids actually liked the song. Love, 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 love your fellow men. Love, love, love is how the war began. As Baha'is, I think here to offer essentially this gift to the world of the Institute process as one particular means to help you know, people learn about how to improve their community, each and every one of us. We as individuals in the community are just beginning to learn how to establish a systematic pattern of action that also strengthens the capacity of teachers to like gain the skills and abilities that are necessary, walk with children uh, along the path. I think being in the program has helped me by changing the way I act with people by being kindness to them. I just can't be around the kids and acting nice and then behind them I'm mean and respectful to other people. But I know by helping the kids when they grow up they're gonna start getting into the program and they're gonna start doing the stuff I'm doing and maybe they can start helping their community too. We're taking the first initial steps together with the, the communities here to learn about how to provide spaces for youth to like feel safe and come together, to grow and to learn together. Because it's, it's only through service and action in the field that each of us as individuals uh, transform ourselves and, and begin to attract other people in the community to the, the light that's happening in us. What I learned about Abdul Baha was that he was doing the same thing we're doing by helping people and showing them the virtues. Being in jail didn't stop him from spreading his word. He still find a way to talk to the people because if he didn't, the people would have think that he had let them down. Some people would even travel really far to go see him. If I let the kids down, the kids would have been sad that I would not continue the lesson and they'll just forget about everything. And I think learning about him is really important. And I guess the big main thing that I learned from doing children classes 
is patient. I don't have a lot now, but it's, it's better than before. Yeah, it's much better than before. The effort to learn together and kind of begin this process of learning and taking action here, I'm still in its very early stages. And as we begin to learn about the needs of the community, talk to particular individuals, they naturally express kind of desires and wants for the community. My hopes and my dreams for my grandchildren and great-grandchildren, that they will grow up, be respected women and men of God. They will show love and compassion, and they will get a good job to help others. That's what my mom and dad always told us. Always help somebody out. With somebody in need, give it to them, because God's gonna give it right back to you. Community means everything to me. You can't raise a child by yourself. But groups and communities like this one are great and they help and they make a big impact.